Hi, my name is Brian. This is the Zeppelin Travels Bus. Come on in. As soon as you enter the bus, as you can see, there's a mess. And I like to call that mess my shoes. Um, this is where they live. It's very easy for me to just walk in, take them off, shove them in here. They can be dirty as they want. Doesn't matter to me. Um, up here, again, more catch-all stuff. Keep my hammock up here, keep my sweatshirt here if I have to go outside. Um, I love keeping an extra egg carton laying around just in case you end up finding a farmer's market and you can just start loading up on eggs. This stuff, everyone asks me if it works. It doesn't work. It's completely disconnected as you can see there. So no big deal. So where my GoPro likes to live. I can usually do long time lapses, which is a lot of fun. Keep a lot of things up here, a lot of extras. Um, usually my dirty clothes will go in there. That way it's, it's, the smell can stay in there and not around here. This is kind of my catch all while, while I'm driving. Um, it's a lot easier to just put things in here and not have to be like moving around the bus all the time. So I'm really glad I, that that thing exists. It just makes my life a little easier. This is probably one of the coolest like storage solutions that I have seen yet in, in a bus. Yeah, there's, there's other ones, but for me, this is like super nice because as you can see, I have lots of books. I carry a lot of maps with me. Um, this is where I keep my little Zen little monkey to remind me to just chill out a little bit. It also holds my mask and a couple other things. Over here, I keep my, pretty much all my tools. I've got knives and pliers and a GoPro. GoPros are tools. Um, I got this sweet new carabiner I have to try out still. What else we got? Oh, I was gifted this lovely plant that still needs a name. So if you all want to drop a name in the comments below, you know, we'll, we'll give it a proper name. More books. I'm also trying to figure out more solutions to have all these knickknacks organized, which I'll be hopefully coming up with soon. Um, there's keep a lot of my camera gear in these little cubbies. Uh, this way, it's just completely out of my way. I can just toss everything in here. There's a power right down here as well, where I can just keep things charged. Like my drone batteries are always living in there. and They're always being filled up with juice. So yeah, this storage stuff is super awesome. It, it works very well for me. Straight from there, as you can see, there's, uh, I guess you call it the couch, the lounge, a bed, whatever you want it to be. This does come up. As you can see, I like to use my uh, trekking pole to hold it up while I go and search for whatever it is I need to search for. And again, it's just a lot of random things like drone, pants, <laughs> sweatshirt, um, this cool little ax I got from Ecuador, my climbing gear, just, you know, just kind of your regular everyday stuff that you would use. We'll live right in there. Biggest question always is money. I started out podcast editing. Uh, I was maybe making $800 a month, which wasn't a lot. And uh, I was kind of burning through savings at the time. I just had this like mental shift of like, I'm, I'm going to get myself a new podcast client today. And uh, sure enough, I got to the coffee shop that I, I had been visiting while I was there for almost two weeks. I acquired a new podcast client and because of that podcast client, that also turned into me filming my very, to really beginning my video career with a modern day sniper who I owe the world to. They gave, they gave me my chance and I film tiny homes as well. So this is, I treat tiny home tours is kind of my main, my main gig right now. Um, and my side gigs are Recoil TV, Carnivore TV and modern day sniper. Since they have projects that only come up maybe, I don't know, four times a year, which is, it was not too bad. And um, yeah, to stay afloat, Tiny Home Tours is always there for me. Don't stress out about work. You will find what you have to do on the road. You will you'll find your lane. And um, just, just always be out there asking, talking to people. You never know who you're going to meet. Show up to your job. Do the best that you can. Be a good person. And they will refer you to others. So just a, just a quick jump from uh, the storage side to the kitchen side. Uh, this, this burner is pretty much... You'll see this burner in most vans, most buses. It uh, it just kind of sips on pro, uh, propane. I have a five, I think it's a five pound tank out back. And uh, I cook maybe three, two, three times a day. And that propane has lasted me about two months so far, 
which is super cool. Um, it beats the little Coleman ones I used to use in my element all the time. Got these lovely storage units here for all my utensils and things and all the stuff you need. Go right in here. Um, had to put some of these locks on. There's a lot of a lot of turns got a little crazy and they'll come flying out and you know it gets super nuts. But uh, in here I keep all my bowls, plates. I got a kettle in here for tea, some mugs, um, frying pan normal things down here I have kind of like a little little fruit basket some avocados that some avocados that look about ready to go we're on over over here we have the refrigerator this thing is awesome um, living in my Honda element I did not have a refrigerator or a cooler or anything I would I would buy dry food mostly and if I needed regular like food I would have to go to the store but now I have this lovely contraption and it I can hold roughly a couple weeks worth of food in here, which is super nice. The sink is gigantic, which is awesome because um, probably just like everyone else, I don't like doing dishes a lot. So um, it does get filled up pretty quick. And when it does, this thing comes in handy. It's just I'm so happy I have this here. I actually feel like I'm in a home and it's really, really nice. Um, the coolest part about living in a bus though is magnets everywhere to hold everything that you want like got my hand sanitizer here got a little climbing nut because it's fun i leave this here to remind me to renew my passport um you can put magnets of places you've gone it beats getting stickers you can take them off and move them around um beautiful little cutting board style here which um i have bamboo cutting boards because i don't want to put too many nicks on here um Came up with this little, I didn't come up with it, but it works well using a bungee cord all the way across to hold all my things here. And uh, same on this side here and nothing has fallen off yet. And I've taken this bus down some pretty rocky roads and it's always moving and bouncing around and nothing really goes flying. And if it does, it sometimes lands in the sink. So um, onward to food storage, as you can see there, peanut butter. A lot of uh, seasonings, my toothpaste and stuff go up here, an extra mug, you know, some sugar. I got a bag of potatoes in there, rice. Plenty of room for, like, I have, like, there's a month's worth of stuff up here, basically. It's super awesome. This side, this is kind of more of, like, where I keep my uh, isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide. Um, got a little candle here, a jet boil. Uh, what else? Duct tape, gum, just, you know, again, a catch all of just things that don't make any sense, they go in here. And I will say with it, a, lot, a lot of folks like things going up, but obviously it really, it could have probably with this, but I haven't seen one go down yet. And this like, this removes having to get gas shocks. They fall down nicely. And when you're done, it's just super easy and nothing has fallen out yet on any crazy road that I've been on at least. And let's not forget about the Mexican tile. It's just so beautiful. I don't even know what else to say about it. Like it just looks very nice. It's a really cool accent. And um, it's a great spot to put my phone right here while I'm cooking. Cause then I can just have my phone there. If I'm FaceTiming with a friend, listening to music, watching a YouTube video, it just makes me happy. You know, like I'm, it's my space and I can do my thing and it's, it's beautiful. So another big thing that like, um, that I need in my life from when I was living in my element, my element had a moon roof. I was able to see the stars every night and it was, it was super cool. And luckily I have a moon roof again, except now it's a emergency exit hatch, which I just, you know, call my, my window to the universe. So this is a lot of fun to open up in the middle of the night. If you don't want to go outside and be cold, you can just sit here, you know, just chilling right here and you just stare out into the galaxy. It's, it's so, it's so cool. Everyone should have a moon roof or some kind of thing in their rig. So now to the center of the bus. Um, Again, in my element, I went outside to use the bathroom and now, spoiled, nature's head composting toilet, AKA all <laughs> more storage underneath. <laughs> um, this thing's a lifesaver, you know, just, again, with things being closed with the pandemic, it's really hard to, to use public bathrooms right now because every public bathroom is just usually closed. So it's, it's really nice to have this when I'm in the city and I can't really go anywhere. So I have that now and it's, it's amazing. Um, Sound bar, life, life changing. This thing puts out such good sound 
and it just makes this whole place feel nice and cozy and put on some soft music and you can just chill and make dinner and hang out. It's, it's super nice. This also comes out to act as my desk where I'll usually stick my laptop. I also have this monitor here that I purchased to help as a extra screen for when I uh, do my bigger films that I make and I can rewatch it on here just to make sure that I'm actually making good edits. I'm good, doing good color grading and everything's working out. Um, it is very comfy, there's a lot of space. Like I said, and I just HDMI, boop, straight to the screen there. And um, yeah, just so much, so much space to work. It's so beautiful. Like I don't have to go to coffee shop anymore. I have a coffee shop right here now. A lot of people get, they, they, they don't feel like they belong because they don't have a van. I know I felt that way living in a Honda Element. You, you think you're like, oh, I just live in a car. I'm not really van lifing, but that doesn't matter. The fact is that you're out there and you're doing it. Don't even beat yourself up on trying to get the biggest, baddest rig. Just kind of start with what you got. Start small, see if you like it, test the waters, give it a few months, and then kind of go from there. Welcome to my bedroom. Um, here I sit on a queen size bed, which is just <laughs> game changing. Um, this made me a firm believer in buses, considering they're seven and a half feet long. Um, and I'm only, I think, 5'10", so it works out really well. I know in a van I would have been really reaching the limits, which I, I wanted more comfort. So I'm really glad I was able to acquire this bus and have the comfort that I really would like. Having these up here is awesome because I can just get up and just boom, I can grab some pants right away. If I need to use some shorts, so I'm gonna go hiking. And then up here, I keep a lot of my shirts. And I mean, there's really not much else, just shirts, pants go in here. Um, again, these down folding things are just, I think this is kind of the way to go almost, but that's my opinion, so. Um, but it does, it does help with not having all these extra things laying around. One of my favorite aspects of the bus is having this giant hatch right here. At any moment I want, I can just open it up, get fresh air, I can stare at the sunrise or sunset. And uh, if it's a warm night out, you can really just leave it open. And kind of feel like you're just camping out. Everyone's probably looking and wondering, yes, I have a Ninja Turtle blanket. It's a childhood memento of mine. It reminds me of my father who was passed when I was a child. And uh, it's nice to have, and on honestly, it actually keeps me warm. Uh, my, down, my down blanket right now is a little empty on the down. So this kind of adds as an extra layer of warmth for me. Um, speaking of warmth, I do have a diesel heater underneath the bed right now, and um, it works sometimes too well. It can stay on for a couple hours, and this place will be 75 degrees, no problem. And if I need extra insulation, I do have um, this curtain that I can put up across here, again, with magnets. Um, and quick tangent, I ended up getting the magnets that have little clips. They seem to work really well, holding things up. Um, also my lights. These lights were uh, recommended me to a friend who is visiting right now and um, we'll, I'll have a little surprise for you here in a moment but these lights are really cool. They definitely can set the mood um, however you want. We can go green and yellow and red like Christmas or we can go blue and teal and whatever other colors or we have this nice warm cozy fireplace kind of color. So I was mentioning guests. Um, there's two of them. One's a human and one's an animal. The, uh, the little animal's up in here right now. His name is Phoenix. He's just taking his little cat nap. Good night, friend. Um, on top here, I have two power outlets, two USB sockets, which is freaking awesome. Um, that way you can just keep your stuff powered up real good. Uh, what else is up here? Obviously, the monitor's still here. I have Roku connected to it, which is nice. And... Again, I have more storage on these headboards here. Try not to disturb old Phoenix here while he gets his little kitty slumber. But these also come down. And down in there, I just have winter gear. In here, I keep um, just socks and, you know, underpants and stuff like that. A lot of times, I will say, I have forgotten coffee mugs up here. And then went to go drive, and they've all spilt over. So um, I'm sure other van lifers, if you are watching, you've probably experienced the same thing. But if you're brand new to it, I would recommend putting a little guardrail there maybe. Um, <laughs> just reminding you not to like leave things up there, which I do every single day. Um, and again, you get creative with your stuff. Like I got this magnet light right here that I'll use occasionally. And then I can just live there. 
I got these little things to hold my pencils if I need to write stuff down. Um, the Max Fan, everyone says this is like, yes, get one. It's amazing. It sucks air in, it blows air out like it's the best thing in the world. And on those hot days, if you just crack a window, turn this thing on to pull air out, it creates a really, really nice breeze in here and it's, it's super comfy. Once I hit the road, I, I started really learning how truly resilient that I really am. Because um, it forces you to become resilient. It forces you to problem solve every single day of your life. That's what this life really does. It just, it, it empowers me to continuously be a better person. The garage. I luckily don't have a lot of things. Um, but in here I do carry my uh, mechan mechanic tools. I was a mechanic for almost 12 years. So it does come in handy. I can help people on the road. I can help myself on the road if I need to. So that's really nice. So I kind of just shove a bunch of stuff back here that I really can't fit up there. Um, like my backpack for uh, backcountry stuff. I got my skateboard in here I never use. Uh, I got a couple of fishing poles. Like, again, I'm hoping to go do some fishing at some point. Um, as you can see, I do have a uh, short power hookup, which is really nice. I haven't needed it yet, but maybe one day I will. Um, there is, uh, here's the diesel. Uh, fuel for the diesel heater um, Again more more backpacks. I got a grill back here I only used it once and it's been absolutely amazing. I recommend if you got space get a small Weber grill It's awesome. You can turn it into a fire pit multi-purpose got a spare tire back here. This is where the uh, uh, The solar lives back here, too and up on the roof. We have 400 watts uh, two panels Inside, we got two Battleborn batteries. I believe they're 100 amp hours each. And then I have a 46 gallon water tank that should last me about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, again, I do a lot of cooking in here, so it requires me to do dishes, unfortunately. But I do my best to obviously regulate how much I, it is I use. And uh, before I shove off anywhere, I put my bike in here and it takes up the rest of the room, which is totally okay. Um, but yeah, again, it's, it's beautiful having space coming from a Honda Element to now actually having storage where I can keep recreational things is just like lifesaver. Hey, thanks for watching my tour. If you would like to see my daily vlogs, head over to YouTube and type in Zeppelin Travels. And if you want to see my Instagram, uh, type in Where's the Schoolie. Thanks.